to wear. <laughs> we just drove by a lady at the bus stop. <laughs> like, see, she seemed to look right at us and say that, but she was on the phone with somebody. Oh, by the way, hi. Hi, Chad. Chad's off today. I'm off. We're going to see a movie. A movie? What movie? We're going to see Valerian. Did you get the tickets? Oh. Yeah, I got the tickets. Oh, you saw me get the tickets, right? Did you really think? Did yeah. I get you? Yeah. Yeah, I got them. Yeah. A very nice lady gave Chad uh, free passes. And we're excited to see this. We both love the fifth element. Chad might love it a little more than I do for, <laughs> for Mila reasons. So yeah, we're really excited you know, to see this movie. It's an movie. I love a lot of things about that movie, not just the movie. I haven't. Just, yeah. Great oh, Fifth Element. I'm like, yeah. Larry, we haven't even seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I'm excited though. I haven't heard much about it, so we're going in fresh. to the nice lady that gave Chad these passes so we can go on a date this afternoon. Yay. Thanks lady. Thanks lady. Thanks lady. I wish we knew your name. Because I'm your mom, it counts the most. All for I Jessica. The most. And for Chad. <laughs> Get in and out while you got it. <laughs> but my other hand's full. Sucks to be you. Oh man. We're late. Whose fault is that? Yours. Lies. <laughs> So, before we talk about the movie, <laughs> should we talk about what happened before the movie? Didn't we have a problem last time we went? The power went out. And then we had a problem this time? Yeah. So, um, we get there and we sit down and we're watching the credits and then the movie starts and we can't really see the movie. It's all like blurry and the words are like in double. So, the 3D was not working. I looked at Chad, I'm like, can you see this? And he was like, no, this is terrible. So I get up and I walk down to a couple sitting at the end. I was like, hey, can you guys see this movie? And they were like, no, we can't either. Okay, so I go and uh, talk to a guy, the guy at the front desk, and he said that that movie wasn't supposed to be in 3D, that it's not a 3D theater. And he looked like really confused by it. Like, why is this even happening? Not good. They, yeah, they scheduled a 3D movie in a theater that does not play 3D movies. So, so the moral luck, of this but story. We, but luckily, the next showing was actually really soon. So by the time the previews were over, it was like 1 o'clock. And the next showing was a 105. So that worked out great. Which brings me to my moral of the story. We were not late for the movie. Shh. We weren't late. Well, we would have been. No, because we actually technically saw all the credits for the other one, too. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Okay, so what did you think of the movie? Oh my god, it was so amazing. I loved it. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, we even talked about this at all. This is the first time yeah. we're discussing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You loved it? I loved it. Like, it was really done really well. You don't think, like, the dialogue was kind of stupid what? no what? see I didn't really okay visually creatively very much into this I like the creatures I like the way it looks it's a good set see it in for, 3d for maybe another one yeah definitely see it in 3d a little, a little cheesy in 3d that cheesy. works if your if your movie is like gorgeous enough it's a little more forgiving that the story is like meh like avatar Kind of reminded me of Avatar. I never saw like, Avatar. Movie's so. super beautiful, but the story and the acting is a little bit. The acting kind of sucks. Okay, see, <laughs> I was waiting for you. I'm like, but the story, really, man? I, you're I like the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm kind of more talking about Avatar with the story. Avatar oh. is just Pocahontas. Do you recommend it? Mm -hmm. I would too, I think. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I wonder um, if we'll see any like Valyrian cosplays happening anytime soon. Maybe. I want to see somebody dressed as those alien things. The bald, glittery aliens. I want to dress as Bubble. 
Good luck with that, tits. I don't know, take that whatever <laughs> happens. So Chad's running an errand real quick, but I want to tell you guys, uh, today we are working on a new video series. You won't see any of that in this video, but stay tuned, especially if you're a Disney fan. We have something really fun that we're planning to make kind of like a, I don't know, weekly, bi-weekly video series. So we're going to work on that for a little bit. So Chad's making meatloaf. I am. Do you have, well, okay, quick, first, what do you put in your meatloaf? It depends. What did you put in it today? I normally put three different meats on it, but I only put two. I only put veal and ground beef. I What's the other one? I put sausage in it as well, okay. or pork. Mm -hmm. um, and then just onions and bell peppers, but you want to make sure you sweat them first. What does sweat mean? Light salt head. Okay. <laughs> Sealing the juices. Mm -hmm. Egg, ketchup, seasoning, and breadcrumbs. Oh, it is. Some people put cheese in theirs. That Dis was... Disgusting people put mushrooms in theirs. Oh, you don't mean that. I know. I'm just sad. He's only saying that because he's allergic and he can't have them. I love mushrooms. You should have got mushrooms and I could have made two loaves, one for you and one for me. No, that's alright. So then the oven's at 350? Yeah. Once you put it in the pan, how long do you cook it? It depends on how big I make it. About an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. I made a pretty big one. That's my I mean. I know you're like manhandling a bowl of raw meat right now and it's kind of gross, but it smells pretty good in here already. Ooh. I wish we had counter space to be able to do this properly. I know, our kitchen is teeny, teeny little 70s kitchen. Oh, the oven hasn't been on. I smell different. <laughs> <laughs> they can't, ooh, no, they can see different. Whoa, that thing is juicy. Juicy mama. Holy cow, do you strain that? Oh yeah. You just leave it for now. Oh, no, Strain it. That is one big loaf of meat. So how long did this cook before you pulled it out to do this? About an hour and fifteen. So hour and fifteen? About so far. Somewhere around there. So you cover it in ketchup and then how much longer do you put it in for? About another fifteen, twenty minutes. Fifteen to twenty. We got mashed potatoes going over there. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Finished product, looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do the smart thing and end the vlog before I like completely fall into a food coma. You look like and then you're I just go to there. sleep. I am, I'm really tired. That was delicious. Thanks. Let us know in the comments what you would like Chad to cook next. Yeah, I want to cook something. You look tired, too. I'm very tired. We've had a long day. So, yeah, leave us a comment uh, telling us what you want Chad to cook next. And also, let us know if you guys have seen Valerian yet and what you thought of it. Great movie in mm. my eyes. Not so much in Jess. She loved the movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's very visually appealing. But we already talked about that. <laughs> so we're going to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember, I do make videos every single day. So hit subscribe if you'd like to hang out on the daily. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you tomorrow for a very special video. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very special. Very special. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.